watch the, the video of the new Neo robot from One X Technologies last week. I know you've watched it as well. And by the looks of it, this is one of the first times that we're seeing AI move into something that actually takes physical action in your home. Not information, not content, but actual tasks. And after watching the Wall Street Journal video, I suppose the question is, could this be a real turning point because instead of AI existing on a device the device itself is now embodied as a robot that lives with you so I thought we should have a chat about this. They've been very open uh, about admitting that most of what you see in just about all the videos online where they revealed this to the world uh, involve most of the time someone telepresently operating the robot. Anyway, he goes to load the dishwasher and he's picking up these glasses out of the sink and putting them... And I'm thinking to myself, God, that's, uh, that's incredible. Like, that's amazing. Um, and and, and in, that, in reality, that's not the robot doing it. It's someone remotely operating it. And, the, and the, so somebody can see into your house. I mean, it's... Is my point. So it's 20 grand, $20,000, and it's a pre-order, and they reckon for next year. It's almost becoming acceptable for people to put down money on a bunch of promises that actually do not exist. So tell me, how does this work? But then they've got to employ a, a person to run that robot. As a business, as a business how, is that, how does that work? And also, what if it's three in the morning and I want a cup of tea? <laughs> or I want, oh, oh, I forgot to do the... Dishwasher, doesn't matter. I paid 20 grand for a robot. Uh, Neo, would you load the dishwasher? Yes. Well, and then some bloke's asleep in his student flat and his alarm goes in, in like, you know, I don't know, Uzbekistan. I'm